Hey there, just wanted to demonstrate real quickly how you would put an order form into a, uh, an overlay into a pop-up. So we've got this big old buy button here, and uh, if we click the buy now, we can see we get the order form built right in here, and we can fill in our email address, credit card number, uh, CVC and the, the expiration date and that's all we need to actually process a digital order now if you've got shipping physical stuff like that you need to fill out an ad, you know your additional information here but you always want to make sure you have your email address if you're using stripe at least email address and credit card information here um, if you've collected an email address already somewhere else I think you'll be fine but uh, I always put it on alongside the order form because we need to pass it across to stripe in order for stripe to process successfully your payment so this is how you would put um, a pop-up or a, a order into an overlay so I'm gonna show you how this works in the back end if we uh, flip back here we've just got an order form if I click edit page then all we're going to do once this pops up is go down and click the show pop-up and then that will show you pop-up and you actually just insert your order form here so I've got the uh, product selector if I go in here and click this this is the select product 2.0 add that to the page you can see we've got duplicates in there now so I'm delete that out uh, and then email address is just an input field so that's just this input form and click that add a page and then when you go in make sure you select email address as your option here and then change out this to be you know email and then that will set that um, so we'll go again, go ahead and delete that since we already have one. And then this credit card form is actually a form field as well. So if we go in and we add that, then we just add the credit card form and click add to page. And then that gets our credit card form on there. And then you can go and set your options, you know, change the style and all that stuff. Um, and then we'll get that rid of that one. And then the button is actually just a bot, you know, just a button. So we just add a button. So we go in here to button and then click add to page. Uh, and the difference is going to be the URL action is going to be submit form. So we'll just click submit form and you know you can change your text so I made it by now and then you can change your font size if you want that bigger and make it 30 and you can put an icon in there if you want to um, put a little shopping cart in there and now we've got our buy now button and then that will actually submit your order form and then uh, you'll get your order process. So we're going to close that for now. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this page and leave it because it was already functional. And so if we just open this up, uh, again, we've got it open in an incognito window here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this Stripe test ID, test card number, click buy now. Uh, we've got our testing product. We've got a product set up there. And I'll put in my Jamie at cfprotools.com, our credit card number any CVC uh, code and any date in the future and click buy now. It'll tell us it's submitting. And then once it's processed, we'll get in here and we'll get through um, and get the order confirmation page. Now, I've already added several products in the past, so it showed me my order confirmation for everything that I purchased. Um, so, uh, but this last one is the one that we just added here. So, and uh, that's what we've got. So. Hope you like that. Hopefully it's helpful and I'll talk to you again soon.